Right here in our own backyard is world-renowned arts and culture. It's in Philadelphia. Some of the more recognized things are like the Kimmel Center, which is home to the Philadelphia Orchestra and traveling Broadway shows. So it's a wonderful place to see performing arts. The other more recognized museum is the Philadelphia Museum of Art. People know it from the movie Rocky. Of course, my name, Adrian, I of course know it. But some of the other things in Philadelphia that you may not be aware of are the smaller galleries and smaller art galleries. A great example of that is the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts. It's a great mixture of art. But what's really neat about that is that the building itself is a gorgeous piece of artwork in itself. So that's a nice off the kind of normal uh, museum tour guide that you might go and explore and see what's happening um, in the building but along with the building itself. Now Philadelphia is known for their public art. They have 3,000 murals all throughout the city and each mural is inspired within the neighborhood where it was painted. So going around and, and finding a walking tour or on a trolley, you can even get it on your iPhone or a podcast. Uh, and looking at these murals is a great way to investigate the neighborhoods as well as the murals. And you can see all of that on visitphilly.com. Now a great example of public art and really showing that art does not have to be on a canvas is where I'm standing right now and it's Philadelphia's Magic Garden. The artist that did this is Isaiah Zagar, wonderful creator and visionary of found objects. So from an environmental standpoint, he found all these objects and made this wonderful piece of artwork. But it's really an expression of creativity, it's open to the public, it's on South Street, it's, uh, you'll hear little noises in the background and those, that is a camp that is visiting uh, the Magic Garden and it's a wonderful place to visit. So whether it's performing arts, fine arts, or public art, visit philly.com. That's better living. We're here in Philadelphia at Independence Visitor Center, joined with Jeff from visitphilly.com. And Jeff, so many of my friends or people will say I'm intimidated to drive into the city. And it's really easy. The expressway to the Ben Franklin Bridge, That's the right. immediate right under the bridge, and you keep going. And then the point is that I always say that works best is end up here at Independence Visitor Center. So talk to us about why this is such a great starting point for someone visiting Philadelphia. This is the best place to start because there's plenty of parking. You can plan your trip if you just get up and say I'm going to Philly today. Right, if it's just a quick last quick, minute thing. I'm going to Philly. You can find out what's happening, get tickets, go see what kind of great restaurants you want to have. Arts and culture, there's a murals. Uh, uh, Mural tour from here. Uh -huh. You can do a ton of tours here, big bus tours, uh, all kind of walking tours. Whatever you might feel that day, you can plan it and book it right here. At last minute. And the other thing is, is that uh, you, this is the starting point, park here, and then use transportation or walk. Philadelphia is a great walkable it's city. It's a great walking city. People tell us all the time, it's very much like a very European feel where you just walk and you discover something new, something you didn't know about. Mm -hmm. And you know, the great part is too, that if you don't park here, park at one of the hotels. Tell us about that program, yes. Oh, on visitphilly.com, you can find something called Philly Overnight, and many hotels offer free hotel parking, so you get a great deal. That's awesome, because parking in the city can be astronomical. It can be very expensive, but if you do combine it with a hotel package, and then you don't have to rush home. What visitors tell us all the time is that they wish they gave themselves some more time, because when they get here to the visitor center, get in town, they see, oh, I want to do that. I wish I spent more time and there. And Philly goes great into the evening, too. Great daytime, nighttime, from waterfront to river. Yeah, and so stay, at, stay park here, stay for the day, go to visit philly.com and plan your trip, or go to the hotel, spend the night, and have a wonderful time in our backyard right in Philadelphia. And that's better living.